Hi guys, SDJR Cinef88 speaking with yet another uh, wagon review for for wagon review Fortnite. Uh, now uh, this wagon today is a Batman 14 ton tanker wagon in ICI livery. Now as some of you may recall, I picked this one up at the Shepton Mallet Toy and Train Fair. It briefly appeared in my video about what I got on the day there. And as you can see, I picked it up for a good price of £10.50. Now, the first thing that really hits you is that stunning livery, which is the reason, one of the reasons why I got her. I haven't got very many tanker wagons, but I do plan to get a few more because Batman have released some really, really nice liveries as of late. And um, I think it will look absolutely superb on Compton Quay with my little dockside layout as these sort of wagons really give a good industrial sort of feel. Also she'll look excellent in um, a, 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 a long freight rake to break up the monotony of the, the grey and brown wagon sort of thing because tankers tended to be branded uh, unlike most of the other rolling stock that we've seen uh, during a British Rail uh, period. Although I'm not sure of the precise period of this wagon it could I think this was um, it says 1940s on the frame as you'll see in a minute so um, it probably would have been um, yeah, well, it is a private owner wagon, and tankers did tend to be seen on the main line in private owner liveries, even though nas through nationalisation. So um, she will fit in perfectly with my freight trains. But anyway, um, let's get on to unboxing this stunning model and seeing her on the track. Here she is on the track, and the first thing that hits you is that beautiful livery. It's um, really hard to describe. It's sort of a really deep purpley maroon. Um, I say, I, well, it's, 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 it's quite maroon on the camera, but in, when you see it in the flesh, it's almost um, like a, 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 it's quite purpley as well. It's, I'm, I'm trying to think of the colour, I've, I've, it's totally slipped my mind. Uh, but um, it's really, really stunning livery, especially with all the white um, text and, um, you know, and all that on the side of it as well. And the, and the white wall wheels. Um, we'll start with the top. Obviously, we've got the filler uh, cap there. Um, also, you can see all these rivets. You can see that the wagon uh, is made up of separate panels um, that would have been rolled into shape and then riveted together. Um, so yeah, that's they've picked out that detail really, really well. Then we come on down to the uh, frame. Now, with most tankers, they had um, the frame was sort of like a skeleton. Uh, if I zoom out, it's got out of focus slightly. Sorry about this. But you can see it's um, not totally flat. You can see it's like a skeleton. And you can see qu uh, quite clearly daylight uh, by the wheels straight under. Well, straight under that part of the frame there. You can see the wheel there. And the, just you may just make out the track below. Which is one thing I really love about the tankers. Um, come on to the ends. We've got, well, the brace, we've got the braces on the end. Um, which are attached to the chassis, as you can see. All, again, rivet detail. All applied in that stunning livery. We've got the buffers again all very well detailed so I'm just trying to uh, mind my arm on the wire because the camera is plugged in it's charging <laughs> then we come onto the chassis and as you can see we got the uh, markings there now I'm not sure if the camera's going to pick this up but there is a very very detailed uh, work plate there builders plate I think it is there we go look at that 1940 it says on there but yeah that's, um, uh, was it? it's hard to read off the screen because I can't really read off the wagon with the camera in the way but is it Chat uh, Roberts and Co Limited uh, Wakefield something else on there as well you can see there's the uh, some markings on there and along here we've got the load 14 ton being a 14 ton tanker then we got the axle boxes and the brake uh, rigging. Then you've got those stunning uh, white wall wheels. That really finishes the model off. I do love the wagons with these white wall wheels. They really, really do stand out. They tend to be on these private uh, owner liveried wagons, like coll uh, colliery wagons and tankers. Uh, quite a few of these tankers, which are on the market at the moment, Batman have just released the bulk of those, um, of the, this type of tanker. Uh, the ICI one, this one being one of them. But um, I know I know there's another uh, one on the market which does have white wool wheels, and it's it, they are, and it's again in a maroon livery, not as deep um, uh, purpley maroon sort of colour as this one, if that makes any sense. But um, it is a maroon liveried one, and it also has those wheels, and it that looks absolutely stunning. One thing that I did miss on the way down reviewing this um, on the way down this wagon was, of course, the running number of the wagon, which um, is hidden by one of the um, supports there and it's out of focus 
but it does say when it does go into focus number 311 I believe uh, unless it's a 7 hidden behind it uh, no it's 311 and then we got the obviously the the company on the side which is ICI which as you know is a chemical company and then we got the uh, star on there as well which is a uh, I suppose the star is for the, um, was the old sort of marking for a flammable liquid. I got a funny feeling. I'm probably wrong, but um, I know it's on quite a lot of fuel tankers, um, older fuel tankers. So I presume that's the sort of marking because um, it's not just on the ICI brand. It's on quite a lot of uh, other branded uh, tankers with flammable liquids. So I presume it's that. But anyway, it's a stunning wagon. It will look absolutely excellent on anybody's layout. Um, it's uh well what can i say it's you know, quite reasonable they're 10 pounds as i saw uh well i got mine for 10 pounds it's a very very well detailed wagon it's not the most um modern of wagons but it is certainly um certainly uh, very well detailed um i can't wait to uh use this on compton key because as you know compton keys in storage and these sort of wagons in this beautiful livery really really fit in well on there because you know um i uh one of the, um, the, the, basically the railway I based Compton Key on, uh, well sort of, is Bristol Dock Railway. Uh, and they have a lot of uh, rolling stock there. And they do have a private owner tanker. Not this precise type, uh, but it's, it's like a sulfuric livery. Uh, a sul I don't, it's carrying sulfuric acid. Uh, well, it was designed to carry sulfuric acid. And it was um, a beautiful, um, like a light lime greeny colour. Uh, like a metallic -y green colour. So it's very, very nice looking a wagon. I think that, um, you know, these sort of private owner wagons really, really fit in on the dockside. They really, really capture sort of that dockside railway feel. So I'm sure we'll be seeing her in action with maybe a few other tankers on Compton, uh, Compton Quay in the near future. But anyway, she'll join the uh, wagon review rake um, along with all the other wagons which, are, uh, which have been reviewed and also have yet to be reviewed. So uh, I hope to, I hope you uh, stay tuned to see her in action then. So anyway, this is SDJR Sunf88 speaking, and uh, thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.